in the passing game. Chandler in motion. This is third and two. Texans coming on the blitz. Manuel intercepted by Wood. And the big fella lumbered inside the 40. No one is going to catch Wood into the end zone for the pick six. Incredible. 79 yards on the return from J.J. Watt. We talk about situational football. It's what Bill O'Brien teaches guys on both offense and defense. He understands the situation, Spiro, on third down. Look, back out of the backfield. He knows it. He peels off. See? He sees the back goes by him, and all he does is jump the passing lane, expecting Manuel to throw the ball. Manuel's not going to take a sack there. So you see back coming out, and all J.J. Watt did is he runs to the point of intercept and playing the passing lane. He just needs to get a little more acclimated with the playbook, but ran a good route on that play. Ball's out, picked up by the Vikings. Joseph, can he win this long foot race? Linval Joseph, no flags, touchdown Minnesota. Fifteen seconds. Oh, they can pick down here. From the gun, Steelers show blitz, here they come, he gets it away and it's picked off at the goal line. There's a flag thrown on the run back, James Harrison to run it back, and Harrison is past midfield, Harrison going down the sideline, Harrison still on his feet, Harrison is going to go all the way and waiting for the official to get there, touchdown is signal. A flag is down on the run back, back at the nine yard line. pass, personal foul, grasping the face mask, offense number 74, the foul occurred during the last time down, the touchdown counts, unbelievable, Harrison completely gassed, the call is on Reggie Wells, it's a 100 yard interception return, we well, him to know that you have to protect against James Harrison because he's such a great pass rusher, on that play, he faked like he was going to rush the passer, and he dropped back into the lane and then made this run unbelievable. It's the longest play in Super Bowl history. It's a 100-yard interception return. That offense for the Saints is definitely still with receivers to the left, to, to the right for the breeze. Is that pass is intercepted, a return for the touchdown. A. Sean Robinson, we've seen so many tip passes, and now the Lions get their hands on one, and how quickly things have turned here in the Superdome. Now watch A. Sean coming on a little stunt, just reading the quarterback, and how about the hands of the big fella? Getting in the end zone, that's a great play. Remember, the Saints came into this game, zero turnovers. Ashawn Robinson five. under the direction of Caleb Haney on third down and five pressure pass is picked off and who is it big BJ Raji for the touchdown B.J. Raji, 338 pounds, stepped in front of that pass. What's he even doing in that position to make the interception? Well, they run a zone blitz. And they drop B.J. Raji. He's dropping into coverage. Normally, that guy is just going to occupy some space. But B.J. Raji looked like he had been studying a little film. <laughs> B.J. Raji. There he is, right in the middle. He starts up like he's on the rush, and then he drops underneath. Now, he doesn't just drop straight back. He drops out expecting the slant route <laughs> look at him there you know when he lines up at fullback when he lines up at fullback and blocks down around the goal line he says that the Bears had the fridge I'm the freezer well I don't know what he calls himself when he's doing things like that defensively 
You got to be careful with the football and Caleb Haney knocked it out just after B.J. Raji had crossed the goal line and now B.J. Raji puts on a little bit bigger belt yeah, that's, than Aaron Rodgers typically that's puts a, on. That's a big boy belt. He's not buying that one in the boys department. And so there's Aaron Rodgers who leaps over on the sideline and it's been a frustrating day with a quarterback rating in the 50s.